Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. This is Rantry, and we are fighting some bloodsuckers in the ruins. I uh, took a bunch of level zeros straight out of the stagecoach and threw them into a no-light run uh, to get loot. The plus-plus to loot um, is what I was really going for. Also, to possibly farm up some blood vials, um, but mainly uh, heirlooms that I could trade in and, and get the district the Sanguine Vintners because I've got a lot of people with the Crimson Curse starving for blood in my base and as I was going through this uh, dark run for loot I came across this gentleman right here his name is the Gatekeeper and he's holding a piece of paper so I'm assuming and this is just an assumption but I'm it, it would make sense that killing this guy would get me the invitation now the only problem is I've got to kill him with a bunch of uh, low level, with a lo relatively low level party. You might be wondering why I have the Vestal in the second position. It's because of her, uh, the abilities that she came with, um, Hand of Light and Maze Bash can be used in second position, so can Divine Comfort, and we can use the, uh, the Occultist back here for the healer. So, at any rate, we're going to go ahead and try and kill the, uh, the old Gatekeeper here. He's got five left. This should hopefully do it. If nope, can't stack, can't get that. Can't stack the dodge. Um, I'm knowing full well that this is going to be probably a suicide mission. Uh, it's really just for loot, and sometimes you got to do that uh, just to on dark runs. You got to do, you got to do some dark runs uh, to get loot, and especially heirlooms. Not good for our occultist. And hopefully, if I win this battle, some of these guys will drop blood. Uh, let's see. 12, 12. Uh, this guy, he his animation changes, or his, his image changes when he sucks blood and he gets this fat belly. So, I'm going to go ahead and try and... Uh, Try and kill him quickly because I think that means he's more powerful. I'm not quite sure. Let's see what weird or wired reconstruction does. Only two. Not great. Do I have? Yeah, I don't have any anti venom. So we may lose our occultist here, but again, that's fine. This is this is a suicide suicide run. Gonna get a resolve check. He's paranoid. And probably better get him off death's door. No, oh, he's going to refuse the heal. This may kill him. Oh, he survived. Made one check. He's going to have a heart attack soon, though. Uh, let's kill you if we can. Good crit. Reduce a little bit of stress. And see if he will get off death's door now. Okay, finally. He's just going to go right back there because of the... Uh, Blight damage, but you know, what are you gonna do? As life ebbs, All right, hopefully we get a real big weird reconstruction here. One! And a bleed, great. All right, back on Death's Door. And now the true test. Hold fast. And Death Blow, nope. He's really passing a lot of uh, Death's Door checks, that's great. Let's see if we can get him back off Death's Door. Got a crit. Relieve a little bit of stress there. That's fine. Uh, you can die. Back on death's door. Hopefully we get a good big crit here. Seven. Okay, better than it was. Uh, he won't be on death's door if, uh, again, just from the dots. That's one reason I don't really like weird reconstruction is because you can... So sometimes when you really need it, you can roll low like that. You gonna pass? No, you're just gonna stress everybody out. Heal yourself again, bud. There we go. That's what we like to see. It is nice when you get those big, those big crits, though. All right, smack him. Let's see if we get some blood and or a deed or invitation. There we go. Baron's invitation and a blood vial and some deeds. That is great. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and well, I'm already recording. We might as well. I'll just show you what. Uh, what uh, the rest of a no light suicide run looks like. The only issue is I've got to make sure that I uh, I get out 
when I need to get out. I don't really mind if I don't I don't uh, complete the mission. I would like to, of course. Uh, that's the first quest location I found. Uh, obviously, I'd like to complete the mission, but I am stacking up a few busts, which is great. And I probably I just I just don't have enough blood, uh, so I will go ahead and trade in all my all my trinkets for a. Uh, to get that sanguine vintners. Uh, let's see, how much food do we have? Can we feed the occultist? Yeah, we got enough. There we go. Alright, he's at least not in super danger territory. Of course, again, this is not a great party. Just the people I yanked off the stagecoach and sent in to their deaths. Uh, let's see, we would like to kill uh, the stress damage dealer first. Good crit, not quite enough to kill. He may have a heart attack, but we shall see. Uh, unfortunately, I can't hit, so I'll just heal. Ooh, two crits. That's actually pretty good. And we can, he doesn't even have any damage dealing like Abilities that I can do from this spot, you know, I just I literally just took them. This could do up to two damage And it does all right And we'll bleed you since you're the only one that bleeds Obviously skeletons have no blood to bleed So even though it kind of makes the uh, flagellant um, Useless in well not useless, but less useful in the old uh, ruins, it does make sense. Oh, you're gonna start. You're gonna. That's that's great. Thank you. Um, I'm actually not gonna heal here because I want to be able to use his ability on his next turn. So we'll go ahead and debuff uh, your damage. Should hopefully do less damage here. Uh, maybe a little bit. Um. I think I'm safe to heal you. You should still be under 50%. Yeah. And now you can use your ability here. And let's see, 16 and 11. Go ahead and use it here. And then bam, nine and crits for 12. I really do like this uh, that ability. Let's see, four damage, you got eight. We'll go ahead and shoot you, or kill him. And we don't have any good backline reaching stuff. So, well, I guess I go ahead and take this guy out first. So he's not so he's not constantly dealing damage to us the whole time we're trying to take this guy out. Mace Bash has a bonus versus undead. Good. All right. Now we got to take out uh let's see. We could do we could heal here. Zero, great. Is it going to bleed? Nope. Can't reach. Uh, let's see. This corpse will bleed out. Let's get rid of some of these corpses so we can actually reach this guy. A dizzying blow to body and brain. All right, all right. Come on, give me a better heal. That's not terrible. Attack. There we go. Another blood! Great! Okay, so they definitely are upping the, uh, just use one of those, and then ditch them. Get that stuff. And... Oh, do we have to have spots in our inventory for this stuff? Dang it. Uh, clear your debuff and lose that, and we can take it. Alright, only two more of those to go. And there's another one right here. So, uh, we will be able to, uh, we just ditched our herbs, so I can't open the Iron Maiden, but we will be able to go back into the courtyard, however, I want to make sure I'm, uh, relatively healthy. Now, here's the decision I have to make. His bleed damage will stack on them because they're human, but this guy's the bigger threat, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and just still go for him, even though the bleed won't, won't, uh, proc. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. Go ahead and attack that guy. But yeah, I want to make... There we go. Good crit. I want to make sure that I'm healthy and somewhat well leveled up for before going into the courtyard the next time. Uh, and as such, I probably want to make sure that I have uh, at least four level fours to take into the uh, to the dungeon, to the courtyard. Uh, I could crit. Eh, I'm not gonna hope. I'm not gonna hope for it. I'm gonna miss anyways. Heal up. Big crits. I feel like some people get overexcited about the occultist because they're like, Oh man, he healed for 24! Yeah, that's great when it happens, but if you got somebody on death's door and he heals for zero, that, you know, that could kill one of your guys. That's why the Vestal will always be a better healer than the, um... We'll do Grape Shot here just because he's only got a little bit of health. That way we can get in a little bit of damage here. But that's why the Vessel will always be a better healer than the Occultist. Because you can guarantee... You know, you can count on at least one... Let's go ahead and debuff his damage. You can count on at least getting healed for one when you do your uh, Divine Comfort. Or, or, you know... I usually use Divine Comfort more, but... You gotta have guaranteed ways of taking people off of death's door. Is the point what I'm trying to say, but... We are getting a little bit more loot, because it's torchless, of course. But that also has uh, has its drawbacks. Let's see, probably can get rid of the citrine. Let's see, how many... Am I even gonna camp? Yeah, I wanna keep, I wanna keep the food. I could go ahead and camp now. I mean, my guys are pretty stressed out, but... See, do you have the ability to... Yes, you can protect us from nighttime ambush, so... We might as well go ahead and camp. Uh, yeah, we'll take the reliquary. We will if ditch the citrine. Citrine. And, and we'll, we might as well go ahead and camp, more or less, just to get it out of our inventory. And we can go ahead and feast up. Reduce a little bit of stress that way. And now, first thing we want to do is prevent the nighttime ambush. Um, oh, he had a mortality debuff, so that healed. That's that's good. I don't know too much. Let's see. Remove a disease from himself, or ooh, negative fifty stress for two. Yeah, yeah, that's not bad, especially when it's just on him. Uh, let's see. Negative stress. Clean guns, eh. I'm using his wicked slash, slash. I'm using his wicked slash mostly. Unparalleled finesse, yeah. That's that's probably better. Uh, for four, sure. Buff his damage up a little bit, and then does anybody need wound care? Do we have, uh, let's see. I'd rather do something to prevent some stress, so let's, let's give a pep talk to old uh, to our occultist, just so he doesn't have a heart attack. Or at least we can lessen the uh, amount of... Or lessen the chance he'll have a heart attack. The light. The promise of safety. Alright. We got one more... One more... Oh, it's right there. Awesome. Now here's where I get greedy. Quest is complete. I've got two blood vials. I should probably just leave. But I did just camp, and I'm gonna I'm gonna just explore a little bit more. If I run into something and I I wipe, um, and I also heard that if you have an affliction, you can't run from battle. Does that mean just that person or like everybody? I don't I don't know because I don't believe that used to be like that. I do have some torchlight. I uh, should snuff it just for the loots, but. I'm not really too worried about it. It'll ru it'll run out on its own soon enough. More what heirlooms. Measure. Can't argue with that. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. All right, we brought shovels for a reason. Even the cold stone seems probably too many of them. Passage. All 
And do we get a fight in here? Nope. I'm almost kind of hoping we run into some more bloodsuckers. There they go. Ooh, will he drop me another invitation? And will they drop me more blood? That's the main question. I'm gonna go after you first, because I don't really want to see what you do. Uh, let's see, do we need a heal? Not really. We do need to debuff some damage. Um, yeah. Minus damage, and then, oh, we'll attack you. Dodge, man, these things are... I should have used the, um... I think his weakening curse will let me debuff, or debuff their dodge, maybe? I don't remember offhand. It may debuff their, their accuracy. Quit vomiting on me. Are you gonna heal yourself? Yeah, that's all right. We'll kill you anyways. There you go. Annihilated. I feel like those little mosquito guys are actually a little more damaged or a little more dangerous. Yeah, it does buff debuff their dodge. So I should have. That was a misplay on my part. I should have done that. Give them a little heal here. Sedated. Little attack here. Actually, this is the debuffed one. I should have attacked the other one, but whatever. Four damage. He's got one left. Uh, let's just go ahead and knock him out. Not a good blight. Give me a good heal here, occultist. Not particularly what I was looking for, but that's all right. Good crit there. This guy might be well enough to keep at the end. Yes, another blood and another invitation. All right, so now we can go in. We can go into that uh, that quest uh, uh, twice. Because I have heard that it's you can you can leave like you go there and leave more blood yes that is awesome I'm I'm, I'm we're starting to see the um, wonders can be found in the results of them buffing those those blood drops now I should probably go ahead and get out of dodge while I can um, I mean this is a suicide squad but I don't want to I don't want the ri I don't want to take a risk of having a party wipe. Let's see what am I not what do I not value? Uh you know what? Let's let's go ahead and eat all of our food except for four. Uh just because I feel like it. So that way we can still do one hunger check. We will ditch the shovels and we will take you cuz they're 1000 gold. And then, I don't really mind leaving 50 gold, but I could d ditch these keys. I kind of want to keep... Nah, you know what? That's that's not worth that much. I'd rather st uh, start another stack of gold. Alright, we'll keep going just a little bit and tempt, tempt fate here. But if I lose that blood and those deeds, I'm going to be real mad. Okay, I'm glad I kept the keys. Did get a shuffle. Not that bad of a shuffle. We do need our... Uh, our highwayman to, to be one position further up. Ooh! Awesome! Virtue! All in the face of chaos, but not this one. Not today. Virtues are somewhat rare. Alright, so we can go ahead and attempt to... Let's see if we can... Nah, we're not going to get enough to kill him. Uh, stress, again, is the big threat. Although not really when you got somebody this low. Do not pass. Why you gotta attack him? Heal him good. There you go. Not bad. Alright, you're gonna have to move up. And you'll be you'll be in, in sh uh, shape to, to continue on after this uh, mission as well. Gonna attack you. Almost enough to kill. Axe blade, don't push her. Well, I guess if it pushed her back one, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. That's not good at all. Another virtue. That is extremely rare. That is extremely, extremely rare to get two virtues like that, especially right in a row. It's almost always um, afflictions. 
All right, so you're getting ready to take a turn, so we want to kill you. Minimize the incoming damage, and then we want to kill you. And then it'd be great if I could clear some corpses. Heal! I can't believe we got two virtues. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. All right, death door again. Let's just start hammering through this guy. Unless, unless we can, if we can get any damage back to this back line, uh, we will like this. But again, this party comp is pretty terrible. But you know, take what you can get on suicide runs. I mean, I guess it wouldn't be it wouldn't be that terrible if I would if I had all their skills unlocked, but I just basically took what I could get. Zero heal. Um, we're about done here anyway, so I don't really care uh, about healing them. This will this will be my last battle. Come on, somebody hit him. There you go, Vessel. Your time to shine. The Mace Bash. Holy crap. Stun Stone. I do want that. You can actually take that. Um, can I not put that? Yeah, there you go. And then we definitely want those busts. Boom. And then we want to see what's in here. More blood. Nope, but heirlooms. Love them heirlooms. Okay, let's see. We can actually go ahead and ditch the keys now, take the heirlooms, and yeah, we're gonna go ahead and call it a day. But a good a fairly decent haul. Tokens of hope. Recovered from the encroaching dark. About almost 10 grand uh, in loot here. And I do wanna see how many heirlooms I got here. Eight busts. And yeah, so with 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 the additions of those, I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and open up the Sanguine Vintners. Uh, this doesn't really matter. I'm gonna dismiss all of them. Take advantage of this. Faith Cloister Transept and Penance Hall are free. That's awesome. Last. Drink a vial of the blood. Drink the blood. And okay, so as soon as I brought blood back, three of the people just drank it. And let's see, you're craving, craving, is anybody wasting, craving, no, did anybody die? Uh, oh, my Houndmaster died last time, and nope, my A team is still, still there, so we'll level them up to level four, probably all these guys, and we need, we need a replacement Houndmaster, I'm tempted to make either... Uh, maybe the Highwayman, maybe the Bounty Hunter. I need a damage character, but I like the Houndmaster because of a stress heal, so probably need want to level up uh, the Houndmaster. Get another Houndmaster and level him up, as it were. Uh, but as far as the invitation goes, let me just see. Nope, no Houndmasters. Too bad. Uh, as far as the invitation goes, I just want to show you um, kind of what's going on. If you see this banner on the side, see how it says inf Infestation High? Uh, this banner will start kind of low and the higher it gets the higher the quote-unquote infestation is So the more uh, blood suckers you're gonna run into out in the world and when it reaches high when it reaches high I believe is when that um, Gatekeeper has a chance to appear and so now we can go to our um, To our veteran level uh, Courtyard quest it is epic so uh, that means we can go there and save our place and leave and go there and leave and go there and leave and all that good stuff. Uh, Bree Buus is unfortunately still... Let's see, you're level 2, you've already got upgraded armor. I'm going to go ahead and spend the money to, uh, to relieve his stress. In fact, let's uh, sort by stress. And nope, not the sanitarium. We want... The Abbey. 
And since it's free, take you in there. There you go. And that should hopefully make him feel a little bit better. Uh, and might as well just do that for everybody. Especially the people that are uh, high-ish level. So blue A. There you go. Alright, now we still we still do need uh, blood. And to get, I believe it is... Yeah, 80. So we need 80 busts. We've got 30. 31. So I am going to go ahead and trade in here. All right, I've traded in a lot of my heirlooms, uh, and I've I've got my got my 80 bus. So let's go ahead and see what's up with this uh, with the sanguine vintners. Bada bing! Yes, let's construct it. Boom, that's cool. And so ho apparently next um, next time. I'll have uh, I'll have two blood vials when I go to embark, and then uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna test it real quick with the first few people I grab, and if I went to provision, oh no wait I don't want to go there. Let's just pretend like we're going here. Uh, okay, yeah, it'll it'll be it'll be next week that I'll get the uh, extra two blood vials, but I am going to go ahead and play through some of the more mundane missions, get my uh, A and B teams leveled up and all squared away and ready to go back into the courtyard. But until then, thanks for watching. My name's Rantry, and I will see you next time. <laughs>